Are you tired of fighting with your kids to eat their veggies? I think this is a battle every parent faces at some point. Hi, I'm Marissa from Beautifully Organized. We all have different experiences with kids and their eating habits and different levels of difficulty. So today I'm just gonna speak from my own personal experience on what we have tried that has worked well for our family. And I'd love to hear what has worked for you too. Our kids didn't have any sensory issues or food intolerances, so overcoming picky eating stages was pretty simple for us. We tried a few different techniques, we ditched the ones that didn't work and we kept the ones that did. I say simple, but it wasn't always easy. At the end of a long day when everyone's really tired, dinner battles can be really exhausting. So if you're going through that right now, it bites and you are definitely not alone. Here are a few ideas that helped us get our kids to eat their veggies. Serve a favorite with a new or less loved option. Give your kids something to look forward to as well as something to try. My kids love peas and corn. They're a little bit meh about carrots and they never give a thought to any other veggies. So I tend to serve peas, corn and carrots together or peas, corn and broccoli, or peas, corn and any other veggie that I want them to try. Cook it with something that'll make it taste better. Brussels sprouts by themselves, gross. Brussels sprouts with crispy bacon, much more appealing. Or if you're plant-based, I am, but my kids aren't. Uh, Brussels sprouts with roasted baby tomatoes, lovely. Once a week, you could make a simple pasta sauce, you just get a tin of diced tomatoes and then you grate up veggies in it like a carrot or a zucchini, or you could cook it all up together and just kind of blend it at the end so you can't see the veggies in there easily. It's also a handy way to do it. Prep salad veggies for them to snack on while you cook. Oh, the witching hour when you're trying to cook dinner but you have hangry toddlers clinging to your legs is so stressful, but it's also the easiest time to get healthy food into them. Here's what worked for us. I would slice up some cucumber, capsicum, carrot sticks, or whatever else I had in my fridge drawer, and I'd pop it on a plate or a little platter and put it right next to me on the counter as I cooked dinner. And my kids would come in to you know, complain to me about how starving they were. And right as they entered the room, I would take a carrot stick and take a bite out of it. So of course, then my kids just wanted to have whatever I was having and they would ask for some too. They would get a snack while waiting for dinner. I would be less stressed at dinner time because at that point they'd already eaten some healthy stuff like, you know, cucumber sticks and capsicums. So I didn't need to coax them into eating it with dinner as well. Everybody was more chill. Make it fun. I still remember the day I took the kids to a school holidays workshop at our local wetland center and they made turtles out of half an apple carrot and cucumber sticks and then a little cherry tomato for the head. The kids loved it and they ate it all. And I remember when, when my kids were little, we would call broccoli dinosaur trees. Uh, we would serve veggies in different ways. You know, sometimes you do corn kernels, sometimes you do corn on the cob with the cute little handles. We would make sang choy bao, which is lettuce wraps, and you'd stir fry pork mints and veggies, add some crunchy noodles and pine nuts, and they'd wrap it all up and eat it with their fingers. And you can put pretty much any veggie on a pizza or in a quesadilla, and the kids love it as they get a little older and they start to be able to make their own. Serve tiny portions and give them a bit more control. One thing that worked really well for us a few years ago when the kids were going through a very picky eating phase was you can go back for more of your favorite once you're done. So we would serve these really, really small portions of dinner. So a tiny piece of meat, three peas, two carrot pieces, two chips, maybe a couple of pieces of pasta. And we'd tell them that they didn't have to eat it all. But if they did, they can go back for more of their favorite foods. So the kids would eat the veggies in order to go back for more pasta or whatever their favorite part of dinner was. It helped that we never forced our kids to finish their plate. And we didn't serve really, really big portions that were hard to finish. Eat your veggies in front of them. The more they see it, the more normal it becomes. Eat your veggies at dinner like it's no big deal. Have them as snacks as well. When the kids come home from school, share afternoon tea and have, you know, like a little platter with cut up fruit and veggies, maybe a few nuts and crackers. Make it a regular part of your day. Include a veggie based soup and a toasted sandwich for lunch on weekends and eat it together. Make it more of the main part of the meal instead of the side dish and serve smaller portions of meat. It's cheaper too. Include them in the dinner prep. 
Now that our kids are older, we ask them to choose and cook one dinner each week with us. By default, every dinner includes some type of salad or some type of veggies, but the kids get to choose which ones. And I find cooking it themselves makes them a lot more interested in eating it. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you're ready for next steps with making dinners easier, you might want to check out my favorite done for you meal planning and grocery list service. It's called Eat at Home Meal Planning. They do all of the thinking for you and they have so many great options for easy dinners. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I don't think we have any outtakes for this one. This, actually this would count as an outtake, but otherwise, no, we did good. <laughs>